contest set for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. Emerging ring from Rancho Cucamonga, California, at a combined weight of 417 pounds, they are executive vice presidents, Nicholas and Matthew Jackson, the Young Bucks. So the Young Bucks, Nick and Nicholas and Matt, yeah. Matthew, uh, demanded a match. And so we are acquiescing to them tonight here on Rampage. I like it. Set for tag team action. Watch what you say. You're not happy about it. Sounds like you're not happy, Excalibur. I'm not. Come These on. guys are real pieces of, uh, wow. I can't even say it at 10 o'clock if you're on TNT. That's how bad it is. Not afraid of a fine? Uh, from the FCC and the and Nick and Matt. I got fined a grand. They went easy on you. And their opponents, Johnny Lyons and Cappuccino Jones. Johnny Lyons, Cappuccino Jones making their AEW debut here tonight. Is Are you the taking the side of the Young Bucks? Hey. Yes. Right down the middle. Right down you know, the middle. You know what? Ass. You know what? I like the Young Bucks. Well, Nicholas, Matthew, Tony, I'm. I'm still shaken by those words we heard from Sting and Darby Allen. Wow. This past Wednesday night at Dynamite, Sting talking about how nobody in his legendary career has ever targeted his family, right? And the Young Bucks stooped to that level, attacking Sting's sons after he experiencing the loss of, of his father. It's, it's just so, so many emotions going on. And then, oh, no. then you add Ric Flair to the mix. What, what happened? What was his conversation with Nicholas and Matthew? I mean, that, Flair, Flair thought he should be center stage during Sting's retirement. Well, you know what? And we got revolution coming up one week from this Sunday. We'll find out. But Flair said he would be with, with Sting the entire time. Sting's got the match. His final match, we know, will be against the Young Bucks. He and Darby in that tornado tag match for the championship. I was, uh... I was jonesing for Cappuccino Jones there for a second here. So is this audience this in Tulsa. here in Tulsa, yeah. But Matthew Jackson shutting him down. A couple quick shots. Jones sent into the rope. Super kick fake. And now oh. DDT. Wow. Planted him. I mean, that's, I, I, I hate to tip my cap to them, but I mean, that's what makes the Young Bucks so dangerous. That, that super kick so well known. Even, you know, even Cappuccino Jones saw it was coming. And then Matt adapts, lands the DDT. Matthew, they are great. And that's why they're one of the greatest tag teams ever. Of all time. One of the greatest tag teams of all time, I would agree. But this EVP thing has gone to their heads. It has. Johnny Lyons taken down on the outside. Watch oh, out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. gets Larry, and he knocked oh, oh, oh. his block off. Oh, Cappuccino took it right in the face. Woo. And Matthew Jackson. Oh. Oh, no. So the, the Young Bucks, they pulled me into their office earlier today. Yeah, that time, uh, Nicholas was pointing right at you. Yep, it sure was. And that's much like what happened oh! this afternoon. Cappuccino Jones spiked two, three. They call that now the Tony Khan driver. Here are your winners, the Young Bucks. Real, real company men, the TK driver. Makes sense to me. From Matthew and Nicholas Jackson to adding that to their newly redubbed repertoire. Of course, the EVP trigger. A complete rebranding. It certainly is. And I mean, are we are we looking at the next AEW World Tag Team Champions, Tony? There's a distinct possibility. I mean. I think, I think they're going to send Sting home with a loss. You really think so? Absolutely. Referee Paul Turner, when you raised my hand in victory, what did you say? Did you call me by Nick? I mean, Paul Turner's known. known that is disrespectful. And next time, you're going to get a fine. Hey, Tony Schiavone. Tony Schiavone. Can you please join us in this ring right now? 
Are you guys serious? No, this is... Now, the last time... Oh, I gotta go. I mean, they're we need peace. This feels like a bit much. We're not gonna attack you, Tony. I don't know if I believe that for a second. Just hang tough, Tony. More than a week ago, Tony Schiavone, you interviewed us in this ring. And I swear to God, I tripped on my own shoe and I fell into you and you fell down. And I just wanted to clear the air and apologize to you right here. I am so sorry. How does that explain the attempted EVP trigger? And, and to show you how sorry we are, Tony, because we do love you. We went and got you this $25 Amazon gift card. Something about this feels uh, uh, disingenuous. We love you, Tone. We are sorry. But that, that, that's not the only thing that we're, we're sorry about. We're also sorry that we can't get Darby Allen and Sting's bloodstains out of our $5,000 white suits. That's a problem, I know. I, uh, will you rescind the $1,000 fine by any chance? I'm sorry, but we can't do that. But there are a couple things that, well, we're not going to be too sorry about, Tone. And the first thing is going to be beating the hell out of Darby Allen at Revolution for all the trash that he talked about us publicly on television. And, and the thing that we're probably going to be least apologetic about, and this one you're going to like, Tony, it's going to be when we take Sting and we pen him to the mat and we say goodbye, we say farewell to one of the most legendary careers of all time. Stinger, Sting, you can call us Father Time because just like Father Time, we're undefeated. And just like Father Time, we're coming for you. Now everybody, let's have a great show. There's a, there's a great lineup on the way. Tony's over there at the desk. He's one of the best play-by-play -play guys in the business. Come on, everybody. AEW chant on three. One, two, three. AEW. AEW. All right, let's go. Well, there you have it from Nicholas and Matthew Jackson. Just over a week away, Revolution. They will challenge Darby Allen and the icon Sting for the AEW World Tag Team Championships in Sting's final match.